Today I would like to talk about my experience with overtraining. So on this channel I like to share the good and the bad of my lifting journey and hopefully by sharing my mistakes with you guys maybe there's someone out there who can learn from the mistake without having to make the mistake themselves, right? So onto the topic of the video overtraining. Um, this is something that uh, happened to me a while ago and it was pretty bad guys. It wasn't just a case of like, oh, my legs weren't completely recovered from my previous squat session and now I need to squat again. Like it was much worse than that. Um, so here's what happened. Um, I used to train CrossFit. If you've watched this channel for a while, you'll know that. And um, I used to do five CrossFit classes per day. So Monday, uh, not per day, sorry, per week. So Monday to Friday, I would do CrossFit every day uh, in the mornings, five times per week. And then um, after a while, I noticed that what was missing, what I wanted to do more was squat, bench, and deadlift. We would do that sometimes at the CrossFit classes, but I really enjoyed those and I wanted to do them more often. So that's when I started looking into uh, putting together this gym in my house where I'm sitting right now. Uh, so I got this rack, I got a barbell, and um, I was interested in starting to train here at home. But here's the thing. Um, I was watching these uh, CrossFit athletes on YouTube, and uh, this was, looking back on this, I'm, I'm actually quite embarrassed by this. This is very stupid of me. But basically, I was watching this uh, CrossFit athlete. I'm not even going to say who it was. You know, it's, this isn't their fault. But I was watching this person who is a world-class level you know, CrossFit Games winning athlete. This is a person who's at the very, very top of the sport, uh, you know, probably has good genetics, might even be on drugs, and uh, trains like an absolute madman, right? And um, I was watching one of their vlogs on YouTube, and I saw that they were training uh, three times per day. They were doing a CrossFit training, uh, then later in the day, they would do like an intense cardio session. And then again, later in the day, they would do uh, like a strength session where they would be lifting heavy weights. And they would train three times a day. So I was watching this person and I thought, oh, you know, if they can train three times a day, I'm sure I can handle training two times a day, right? Very stupid. Um, you know, at the time, I didn't have much knowledge about recovery and training and programming. It's... I was a newbie. I had no idea what I was doing. But I saw this person on YouTube training three times a day and I thought, okay, you know, I have the time. So why don't I train twice a day? More is better, right? So if I train twice a day, I'll get twice the results. So that's what I had in mind. And so instead of just, you know, stopping the CrossFit or trying to mix in, uh, you know, less CrossFit with training here on certain days, what I started doing very foolishly was doing my CrossFit class in the morning and then coming home and in the evening doing another uh, strength training session here at home in my, my own gym. And also I was training on the weekends. Um, so it's not even that I was letting myself recover on the weekends. On the weekends, I would still be lifting uh, here in my gym. So I'd lift here seven days a week and then five days a week, I'd also go do CrossFit which just thinking back on it now, this sounds ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but at the time, you know, I was stupid and that's what I did. So I would train, um, as I just said, uh, twice a day. And I did that for about two weeks and it was tough. It was really tough, but I was just sort of pushing myself through it. I thought, okay, you keep doing it. Your body will get used to it after a while. And um, it didn't, it really didn't. And it got to the point after about two weeks of doing this that um, I started feeling sick. So I did my CrossFit workout in the morning. After it, I wasn't feeling good. I was feeling like sick to my stomach, you know, kind of like butterflies in my stomach. But still I came and uh, I did my workout in the evening. The whole time I wasn't feeling well, I was feeling sick, but I, you know, I just pushed through it because no pain, no gain, whatever, you know, I didn't want to be a pussy, so I just pushed through my workout, I got it done, and uh, by the end of the workout, I felt horrendous, like, I felt uh, very ill, kind of like uh, flu symptoms, and it got to the point where uh, I got myself into bed, and in bed, I was, I was shaking, like, my entire body was just shaking and convulsing, um, I got a fever, I was sweating like crazy, but at the same time, I was very cold. Um, it was horrible, horrible, horrible symptoms. 
Um, and that went into even the next day. Uh, you know, I got no sleep that night. I had a really, really bad night. And even the next day, I was feverish. I was shaking. I was sweating, like just horrendous, right? And that's just from training too much, just from uh, pushing my body uh, beyond its limits and and that was my body's response to it you know it, it really did just put a stop to my training um, for I think I didn't train for about five or six days after that uh, and it maybe took a week or two to actually get myself uh, back into shape so you know obviously that was a very very clear sign uh, that I was pushing my body too hard and I had to listen to my body there and um, you know, I cut out certain uh, CrossFit days. I started going only three times a week, and then I would, uh, you know, train here on the other days. Uh, so that's how I did it for a while until I cut out CrossFit completely and uh, just ended up training here like I am now. But, you know, had I actually listened to my body earlier, you know, my body was already giving me signs that it's not ready to train again. You know, after my uh, CrossFit session that morning, I was already feeling sick to my stomach. And I still came and I still trained here, uh, even though I obviously wasn't recovered and my body wasn't ready to be trained again. Uh, but I still pushed through it and, you know, I suffered the consequences. So I think I'm fortunate in the sense that I didn't uh, break something in my body. You know, what, what let me down there or what... Um, what gave out first was sort of, I guess it was my nervous system uh, which gave out and um, didn't let me continue. But imagine if instead of that, I would have like broken something, you know, I could have actually like torn a muscle or I could have like torn a ligament, you know, from, from training that often uh, and not recovering, you know. So I'm lucky that in that sense that I didn't do permanent damage to my body because instead of that happening, maybe I would have kept going and I would have like torn a bicep off or something, you know, that, or torn a pec, you know, like this, totally could have happened. So I'm fortunate in that sense um, that I have, you know, fully recovered from this and I didn't do like permanent damage to my body. But it was just very, very stupid, guys. There's no reason for it. I wasn't uh, getting more results from training like this. And uh, it was just a very stupid thing to do. I mean, you know, don't watch like a world-class level athlete who's possibly on PEDs, definitely has very good genetics and, you know, has been doing this for decades and don't watch their YouTube videos and see the way they're, they live their lives and try to emulate that, right? That's, it's not going to work for you guys. And uh, it's possible that you'll get yourself hurt uh, like I did. So that's all I've got for today. Um, hopefully, you know, I definitely learned something from that. Uh, if you're just getting started out in the gym, maybe you can learn something from that as well. Uh, you know, listen to your body, uh, make your own decisions, you know, don't just look at what someone's doing on YouTube and try to copy it and, uh, you know, be careful. Definitely don't try to train two times a day because that's not going to work for you, right? All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.